Hello, my name is John Maynard, owner and operator of Champion Martial Arts here in Wilmington, North Carolina. Today we're going to talk about basic kickboxing kicking techniques, and there are three. All styles, pretty much all styles, do these three kicks. A front kick, a round kick, and a side kick. And there's a thousand different versions. We're going to give you the basics of these three. What you will need for this clip is training gloves, training partner, and a safe place to train. First thing we'll do is a front leg front kick. The main thing you're doing on any kick is being able to chamber the kick. So the first thing we're going to do is Jimmy picks his leg up in the chamber position. You can see his knee is up and he's ready to push forward. As he pushes forward with the kick, he's still got his weight pretty much ready, you know, a 50-50. He's a little committed and he's got his hands up. He pushes me away from him so he can get a good strike and add something behind it. So again, on his front leg front kick, he picks it up, pushes forward, and pushes me off of it. That's a basic front leg front kick. Knee up, good chamber, push forward, and you got to remember to get your toes back because everybody that's ever used a front kick before has injured a toe or broken a toe. And if you haven't, you're probably going to. All right, front leg round kick. Front leg round kick is a basic kick that all styles use. And right now we're going to use a front leg round kick as a uh, kickboxing style, which means we're going to use a little more shin, all right? So as a beginner, what we would do is we have our, our partner student pick up their leg in a round kick position. As you can see, Jimmy has a round kick ready to go. He's going to come from the back side of me, kicking right into the ribs, using his foot or digging deeper and using his shin. All right, a little bit faster, you would see him pick it up, kick, and set it down. See, he's got good balance. The main thing is he's got a good chamber. His hands up are ready to defend himself. That's a good front leg round kick. Knee up, chamber position. You can use the foot or the shin. We prefer the shin because it cuts down on injuries. Side kick. When we're using a side kick, there's a thousand different ways to do it, but we're going to use a basic one. Side kick, what we use is the bottom of the foot or the heel. We do not blade kick. It's just a different chamber. A basic kickboxing kick is a little different than a karate or martial arts kick. When Jimmy chambers for a side kick, you can see him turn and get that heel ready to push forward. You see his knee? It's not in this position like a karate kick. The knee is turned over, so when he pushes forward, that weapon's hitting me. Okay, he's hitting me with the bottom of that foot or the heel. All right? Good chamber, knee back and pushes forward. He picks it up and bangs me with the bottom of his foot. Look at the difference. If he does it as a blade kick, it looks a lot different, okay? The blade kick kind of flips out. The kickboxing kick goes straight forward into your target using the bottom of your foot. That's your three basic kicks, your front kick, your round kick, your side kick, and what is done on every one of those things is basics is a good chamber. You have to have a good chamber. 